Hey everyone, my name is Jack. In today's video, you will learn how to do this insane effect. Nice. Anyways, if you want to further support me, consider using code YOJACK in the Fortnite item shop. It helps me a lot. Alrighty, to get started, I'll show you first how to do this uh, gradient thing. So there's multiple ways to do it. The easiest way is to search on Google gold gradient and download uh, any one of them that you like or you could go in a photo editing app and uh, make your own gradient or if you don't have any of those you could go to the effects panel and include it and there's a lot of effect that has like this gold or yellowish uh, style to it and these are some of the effects that I found uh, to create a similar uh, photo like this now keep in mind that yours could be completely different, it doesn't matter. And after you get all these effects, you just want to drag them on the clip and then drag another clip above it or below, it doesn't really matter. And set the composition to difference which will output this image. Now to save you some time, I'll put the image that I'm using in the description for free. Alright, so to get started, what you want to do is time remap your clip. So if you don't know what time remapping is, I did a tutorial on it which I will leave at the end of this video or in the description down below. So first, I'm gonna go back over here and just add a cut and then like right over here, add another cut, just drag this up, split it three times, make this 2x speed and this as well 2x speed, just like that, drag and uh, make it a slow-mo now time remapping this uh, before adding the effect is gonna make your life much easier because you don't have to worry about time remapping the uh, the effect now that I time remapped it what you want to do is get the image uh, in the description and you just want to get two of them and then just uh, disable the preview by clicking on this eye and you wanna go to the blending mode and composition and switch it to a linear uh, dodge or linear light it's up to you so for me I'm gonna go with the linear dodge and then and then you wanna go to the effects and go down to the utility and just apply it like this after that you want to double tap, go down to the video effects and then shape and mask and make the feather like uh, at 100% and then obviously you could change the values to, to better match the skin. Alright and then after that you want to click on this side button again and then change the blending mode to the uh, linear light okay uh go to the effects shape and mask one more time and then make the feather 100 percent mess with the settings a little bit so you like it So basically what I just did is I is I changed the settings a little bit and then I placed the bottom one on top so the linear light is on the bottom and then the linear dodge is on the top. You could do whatever you want to find which one looks better for you. And how I did that was I clicked on the eye and made sure uh, which one was like the outer glow and which one was um, like the inner glow. Like this is the inner glow. And then this is the outer glow. So after that, all you have to do is basically just keyframe it. So you're gonna double tap this animation and click customize add and then add. And then you wanna go to the part where it goes off the skin. So like right over here I guess. And just change it a little bit. And change it a little bit as well. It's gonna make it more uh, realistic. So right before the kill, you just wanna add another keyframe and then go on the kill and just make the opacity to zero on both of them. So just like that, it's gonna go like this. And maybe like extend it a little bit. 
Alright, so after that, you just want to trim this so it doesn't take up the space and put this on uh, another layer on top. Go to the effects panel and search up like some sort of black and white effect like the willow or the B and W. So you want to drag this below and, and just like that. As you guys see, like the outer glow doesn't look that good. So what I'm going to do is double tap and go to the image. And then just change the width of it. So after you're done doing this and you're satisfied, what you want to do is go to the effect and then shake and then just drag the up and down. I like mine to be like right before the kill or something. Remove the RGB, remove the X, and then put it over here. And then you just want to get the mile and have it all the way to the end. So now for my uh, color correction, a lot of you guys have been asking for a uh, a color correction tutorial but to be honest it's gonna only take like 30 seconds to show you my color correction so it's not really worth making one story for it so i'll just show you right now it's uh, if you go to the effects and then search up teal and orange in the included section just drag over here okay and then i also get glow and make the radius to zero okay and then after that i search up hue and then just make it like at 45 or something like that. And then I have it across the whole like timeline. If you guys have any question or want any tutorials, then be sure to comment down below. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. Tell me that you made it. And uh, have a wonderful day.